Whoopi Goldberg um, telling you it's your husband and suggesting, kind of recommending that you should leave your husband and your career will, will take off. Well, you wanted to school me on how I was supposed to work for free. I simply don't want that type of education. Mm. That's the education you're fine with. Tyler Perry showed me, Lee Daniels, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey, and Lionsgate. When you don't do what we ask you to do, yeah. we'll take your livelihood. Mm -hmm. I could have schooled you mm -hmm. on what was expected. And Recently, you um, said comments about Whoopi Goldberg that yes. kind of woof, went all the way out there. Everything I say Thanks. lately <laughs> is going to oh. woof. Tyler Perry introduced me to a world that showcased the heights of success, including industry giants like Lee Daniels, Oprah Winfrey, and Lionsgate. Yet, this journey wasn't without its twists and turns. When I dared to veer from their expectations, they sent a clear message, my livelihood was on the line. It was a harsh lesson in the power dynamics of the industry. I remember vividly the moment I realized that the education they wanted to impart was not the one I was seeking. Tyler Perry had been my bridge into this realm, and he had shown me Lee Daniels, Oprah Winfrey, and the power of Lionsgate. But when their demands didn't align with my principles, they made it apparent that my success was conditional upon compliance. Looking back, I could have been schooled in the unspoken rules of the industry the nuances that would have helped me navigate its treacherous waters. Yet, their version of education came with a price, work for free, accept their terms, or be prepared to face the consequences. But I stood my ground. I refused to be a pawn in their game. It was during this time that my path intersected with Whoopi Goldberg. A seasoned figure in the industry, her perspective carried weight. She believed that I should prioritize myself over any fight for change. Her advice was practical, urging me to safeguard my own interests before attempting to change the system. It was a perspective rooted in self-preservation, albeit at the expense of collective progress. In an odd twist of fate, my battle with Goldberg mirrored a history between her and Oprah Winfrey. It wasn't too long ago that they, too found themselves in a tangle of misunderstandings. Their journey towards reconciliation showed that even industry giants grapple with rifts and miscommunications. But in the midst of my own clash with Goldberg, I realized that this conflict was about more than just personal dynamics. It was a microcosm of a broader struggle within the entertainment industry. My refusal to accept working for free wasn't merely a stand against unfair treatment. It was a push for a shift in the power dynamic that had been perpetuated for far too long. The entertainment landscape had been fraught with inequality, bias, and discrimination. As I voiced my concerns and fought for equitable treatment, I recognized the significance of my actions beyond my own career. I saw myself as a torchbearer for those who came after me, fighting not just for my rights but for the rights of all who face similar challenges. The clash with Goldberg was emblematic of a much larger issue, an industry that needed reform. Yet, even as our paths diverged, I couldn't help but sense that there was something more beneath the surface. Was she just echoing the sentiments of those who held the power, or was there something deeper guiding her words? Was our conflict a reflection of the broader tensions that had shaped her relationship with Oprah? As I continued my journey, I understood that these conflicts were threads in the intricate tapestry of the entertainment world. While Monique's name might be at the forefront, the struggles she embodied were shared by many. Her fight for equality, her clashes with influential figures, and her determination to challenge the status quo were all part of a bigger story an industry grappling with its past while trying to shape a more inclusive future.